Theme Park Temple, let's go Headed out to the snow Check every light show glow Christmas vibes overflow Theme Park Temple, hop, don't you wait Don't you stop Lights and laughter never drop Christmas joy from the top And a good day, ladies and gentlemen, from Theme Park Tempo. Back at it again today, again from my desk here in New Jersey. As much as I do wish I was in Florida in a warm tropical climate, I am venturing off the Six Flags this weekend for their Winter Wonderland celebration. Super excited for that. I'm going to bring you a little bit of a rewind because I am missing Florida and I want to get into Christmas spirit again. To two years ago when I took the Monorail Resort Loop and I just went from resort to resort to resort on did a Monorail Bar bar pub crawl pretty much essentially so here we go guys uh, as always it's first time to the channel feel free to like and subscribe down below welcome to theme park tempo welcome to walt disney world and welcome ladies and gentlemen to another wonderful and exciting episode of theme park tempo i am here today at the ttc parking lot aboard yes they have risen the trams are back finally after 600 plus days of not being operational um bob paycheck finally decided it was good with the crowds to bring them back right in time for Christmas. Not in venturing into the park today, unfortunately I am blocked out. However though, taking the monorail loop around to see all the Christmas decorations, both the Polynesian, the Grand Floridian, and Disney's Contemporary Resort. Come on guys, let's have some fun. Alrighty folks, welcome aboard your villain train. Our next destination is gonna be the Ticket and Transportation Center. You're Gateway to the Magic Kingdom. Once we arrive, you're still a mile and a half away to the Magic Kingdom. You could take our highway in the sky monorail system or the ferry boat or cross the seven seas again. Just take one up and take one back to get the full experience. All right, you guys, going to hop on board the monorail. I'm literally just taking around a circuit here. The resort monorail, not the express monorail. Alrighty, first monorail of the night. It's going to be our monorail orange here. I'm not sure if there's a spot to sit. I got one over here. Very nice. Alrighty, have a ride to Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. And the first thing Christmas you we notice, we're right off the monorail. This very tropical Christmas wreath. And they got a few up. See who has the best Christmas tree out of all these resorts. Walking into the top section of the lobby. Again, some more tropical Christmas. All above here, some more tropical reefs. Side up above. By the elevator, they got a really big Christmas tropical wreath kind of thing. Right outside of Ohana, they have their Christmas tree for this top part of the lobby. Lots of fish, lots of tropical stuff, some tiki masks, really? yep. some tiki drums. It's a really beautiful tree. Gosh, you want to eat? Downstairs and very many of the same Christmas wreaths. All the tropicalness of it all around. Here right outside the boutique here is their grand Christmas tree here at Disney's Polynesian. Lots of pineapples, lots of lays around, lots of tropical flowers. See some starfish up there. Almost extends all the way up to the second story. Some tiki masks. A really beautiful presentation. Disney never does some par in the trees, that much I must say. Really gorgeous, loving it. Let's get a full 360 here if we can. Gorgeous. You can never have too many Christmas trees in my opinion. I know a good friend of mine has like eight in their house. <laughs> Inside the boutique, and this tiki guy is all decked out for Christmas. Mr. Tiki guy is ready for Christmas. I love it. Ready to sing some jingle bells. Also having a pina colada. 
took a quick walk outside. Trader Sam's over here. But there's not much Christmas going on out here other than inside the lobby. That's rather a bummer. I could have decked out some of these trees at least. Yeah, a bit of a bummer. One of these days I'll stay here. It's the only monorail that we're all that the only monorail resort I haven't stayed at has been the Polynesian. Yeah. That's thanks. Well, I'll learn over to Disney's Grand Floridian. Alrighty guys, next stop aboard monorail um, green blue lap blue monorail lap blue is gonna be Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. And honestly, what I'm expecting to be best resort as far as Christmas, Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. Hey there, guys. Let's see what they have for us. Okay, so I don't know exactly where to start, but walking right on in through the monorail entrance, you have these grand, grand, grand Christmas trees on both sides. with wonderful grand Christmas trees all around. A gigantic Christmas tree, which we'll go down and take a better look at, as well as the world famous, world's tallest, biggest gingerbread house, right here in the lobby. Yeah, definitely excited for this one. Inside M Mouse Mercantile. They have these wonderful Christmas lights you can buy right around the park. Oh, they got Disneyland Candyland. Very cool. Park puzzles. But yeah, some Christmas trees that wrap around here. A little more decorative in here, I'd say. I do love this resort. And here we go. Well, what was, I'm not sure if it still is. It used to be the smoking section back in the heyday. I got some wonderful... Christmas wreaths all around, some garland all around here. I'm going down the staircase. We're gonna take a bird cage elevator though. So, as I started driving, somebody stepped in front of me. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. And there's actually a cashier shop in the gingerbread house. Wonderfully done this year, I must say. I was here about a month and a half ago, maybe a little more when I saw him putting it up. My lord, give you a whole look around. And if I read you off the ingredients here 10,050, sorry, 1,050 pounds of honey, 140 pints of egg whites, 600 pounds of sugar, 700 pounds of chocolate, 800 pounds of flour, 35 pounds of spices, tons of creativity, Disney magic, and pixie dust. I like that. I do love, look at, oh my god, look at all these wonderful nutcrackers down below. All this little mini Santa Claus village we got going on up here. I love the aesthetic blue here. That off navy blue. And here's the line you can go and get fresh gingerbread at. Much, much closer look at this grand, no pun intended, this grand Christmas tree here. With birdcage elements, I'm sorry, birdcage ornaments. <laughs> Wonderful bells, reefs, snowflakes, looks like a tell in the 12 days of Christmas. Yeah, definitely, so far, the most immersive and wonderful resort tree I've ever seen. Even beats the Grand Californian out in Anaheim. This is magnificent. Really simply gorgeous. EEA UT full. And this elegant Christmas wreath right outside. The Sandy Cove's gifts and sundries. Put these little cool Christmas trees in here. Very nice. Little tiny Christmas trees. Almost mirrored on this side. 
A wonderful, more lighter, brighter Christmas garland around here. Beautiful. Does seem to be the same thing out here as far as Christmas decorations are concerned. Not much other than the inside lobby at the Grand Floridian, although that inside lobby was very impressive, especially that grand, grand Christmas tree. Wow, beautiful. Fortunately, he was going to catch the fireworks tonight, but it's not a Mickey's not so merry or whatever Christmas party. I never paid for one of those events. I've never gotten in it. Um, when I used to be a pass holder in California, the Christmas parties were included in your everyday ticket. Bob Paycheck here likes to get every dollar. I'm pretty sure it's pay for party now in California. Likes to get every dollar, every penny out of the guests. So unfortunately, you got to pay for a separate ticket. They have regular enchantment fireworks tonight, but I already covered such in an earlier video for the 50th anniversary. So I'm not going to be doing all that. Oh, I think I hear some Christmas music. This is a great spot to watch fireworks from if you ever had the opportunity to. When I actually stayed here at the Grand Floridian, you could actually see that window right there. Right there, that was my room. That's where I stayed. Before we do head over and onward to the Contemporary Resort, let me just show you the massive lines of people. I'm trying to buy pre-made gingerbread houses, gingerbread house kits, chocolate covered gingerbread, just gingerbread man, or just slabs of gingerbread. Lots of cool different options here. There's a whole menu. Open from 9.30 a.m. and 9 p.m. daily. Hey, 50th anniversary snow globe. Ooh, that looks cool. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. From Disney's. Biggest, well, probably the world's biggest gingerbread house. Over and onward to Disney's Grand Floridian. Monorail driver waving to us. <clears throat> we got monorail green now. Getting a different monorail each time. I like it. Alrighty, well, get a little quick tour of the cab here. Very nice. A little Disney magic here on Christmas. The monorail conductor just let me take a selfie. And let me film real quick in the cabin, which they don't let you do anymore. You can't ride up there, but she gave me first access. That was pretty nice. Time to see the Christmas tree on Main Street. Please hold on to the handrail. Castle in the background, yeah. For the comfort of others, no smoking. Oh, look at that crowd of people to get into the park. Woo! Maybe it's best I'm avoiding the park today. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. We are Disney's Grand Floridian. Very flow. Wow, I, I am horrible. Disney's Contemporary Resort. Wow, okay, yeah, let's try that again. Well, I see out there, I'm going to have to go outside and see that tree closer. There's a big, big, big Christmas tree all the way outside. Nothing immediate when you first walk in, unlike the other resorts. Should make it down out yonder. Wait, they redid the review, then they uh, redid the rooms. Pretty cool. Alrighty, first thing we see with Christmas decorations are inside the Fantasia gift shop. Just little Christmas wreaths around, nothing too crazy. Very modern like, contemporary, hence the theme. Seems to be the theme going on around this gift shop here. Entering now into BBG. They have some holiday merchandise right off front here. Some reindeer Mickey ears. Christmas trees. And just general wreaths around the store here. 
They got a 50th anniversary present. Love it. There's another Christmas tree over yonder. Headed down on the escalators now to check out the big Christmas tree outside. See what that's all about. See if there's any other Christmas decorations in the actual immediate lobby when you first enter the resort. Right here outside of Steakhouse 71, formerly the Wave. <clears throat> and this really nice, cool Christmas tree. Very modern. Very, well, no, a little older. I would say not really contemporary, but still nice. Still nice. Yeah, a little tree in the kids' waiting area over here with the wreath. Just some more Christmas decorations briefly up around the check-in desk here. Nice wreath right here in the lobby. For your morning coffee dropper station. A bigger version of the tree on the other side here. Same exact type of ornaments though. Let's head outside and get a closer look at the big, big tree in front of the resort. Alrighty guys, here we are right outside Disney's flagship hotel, the Contemporary Resort. And what a Christmas tree that is. Beautifully lit up, not too bright for the road so it doesn't take your attention away from driving, but just lit up enough. So very grand with the Contemporary in the background. Very simple, but yet very awesome here. Wow, beautiful. Take a closer look here. Wow, lovely, beautiful, I love it. Just excellent. Massive, massive, massive line of people heading into the California Grill. Imagine during this time of year, any time of year, it's hard to get a reservation here, especially during this time of year. Imagine it being close to impossible. Wouldn't even know if I can enjoy myself being that much of a crowd. It's still a fun time. What a grand restaurant. If you ever get a chance to eat, definitely check out the California Grill. And I'm actually going to be taking the escalator back down because I want to check out the other outside and see if there's any Christmas decorations on that way. And with the theme of the other resorts, it looks like there is not much going out here, going on here as far as Christmas time is concerned. You can see a few windows of over at Bay Lake Tower actually have some Christmas trees up. That is a DVC exclusive, which makes sense because DVC is like a timeshare and they're here for an extended period of time. Wish I had that kind of money. <clears throat> it would be nice. Yeah, nothing really going on out here. You have the movies on the lawn over there, but yeah, no Christmas stuff. Bummer. I do love looking up at this resort. I definitely want to give a big shout out to the monorail captain earlier. Her name was Ashley, operating monorail green, who let me get the front row view of the cabin. Thoughts off to her. Thank you very much. On the balcony overlooking the Magic Kingdom. Unfortunately, like I said, there's no Christmas fireworks tonight. So I won't be showing you the regular enchantment. I'm not sure why I just don't do Christmas throughout the whole entire month. It makes life theirs and ours so much easier. But yes, unfortunately, I'm going to give the Grand Floridian the number one resort here with the Christmas decorations. I mean, that big Christmas tree and the gingerbread house totally take it. However, though, the Christmas tree was pretty dang cool here at Disney's Contemporary Resort. Alrighty, time to venture now back to the Ticket and Transportation Center. And our last monorail for the evening is going to be Monorail Silver here. we got a different monorail every single time. Pretty cool, that rarely happens. Wonderful time coming along this monorail resort loop to see all the Christmas decorations at the three different resorts here. Thanks for coming to the skies. Hope you guys have a Merry Christmas. Please like and subscribe down below. Take care, guys. And that's going to be wrapped today, guys, here from Theme Park Tempo. It was a blast rewinding two years ago to the monorail loop and showing you guys that again. It brought me back into the Christmas spirit, back into the Disney spirit, but yet again into the theme park spirit. See you again this weekend, guys, from Six Flags Great Adventure. Super forward to bringing you that video. As always, guys, first time to the channel, feel free to like and subscribe down below. Until then, we'll catch you guys next time. Theme Park Tempo, let's go. Heading out to the snow. Check every light show glow, Christmas vibes overflow. Theme Park Temple, hop, don't you?
Top.